welcome to our Let's Play video series for the Wind Temple. It's the fifth dungeon in the Wind Waker. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not mistaken, Hick, this was a one of your favorite dungeons. Yeah, I know there's not a ton it, of dungeons. It might, I, I haven't made my final decision. Like when I first played this, it was my favorite dungeon. Yeah, and now it's kind of like between this and Tower of the Gods. Both very. And good. I know there's a lot of people that like hate this dungeon because it is very confusing. And it it's is hard, but. There's so many other things that I just loved about this dungeon. The One song, thing I love right off the bat is the song oh, here. Oh, the song yeah. is awesome right <laughs> here. Like, just say yeah, it. his violin or fiddle or whatever yeah. you want to call that. Now, I did really like that song, but it's not near as good as Medley's. Oh, the Earth, the Earth song was uh, just amazing, of now, course. I mean, if you're going to have to escort somebody through a dungeon, which we both hate, yeah. at least <laughs> have them make make a cool song for you. And they do a good job of that. That's so. I agree. So, But no, just like the atmosphere of this place, mm -hmm. like it reminds me a lot of the Force Temple. And you know, I love Force Temple. Of temples. course, from Ocarina of Time. Um, the theme's got kind of like a little flute in it that I love. It's a good and, theme. Like, this is kind of weird, but like these white sparkly things. I don't know why, but <laughs> it has absolutely, some atmosphere, though. I, I agree with you that's funny i was really worried just in that last room before we jumped in the hole it was another like dark gray uh -huh. dull room i was like if there is another dungeon because <laughs> we hate their temple I'm just yeah saying, yeah i'm just gonna say that a lot of people love it and we still don't understand why but you know no. to, to each their own but I, guess. I, but I hated the look of it so when we were in that first room yeah. i'm like oh no not this all over again i mean like but then once you get in here it looks yeah great. And like I mean, it does like look very, very, very similar to the for or Forbidden Woods, but I yeah. have absolutely no problem with that. And just no, it was so cool getting like a uh, wind 3D dungeon because we don't have a lot of 3D dungeons no. that are like a wind concept. And it's like it's a concept that kind of got started with uh, with the Shadow Temple back in Ocarina of Time. Had some fans and things like that. Oh, okay. Well, actually, well, it Beach. actually it actually got started with the um, the Force Temple. In Ocarina of Time, because remember they were going to make that early in oh, development yeah. a wind temple, yeah, and that's why you see some of the uh, fan symbols in the yeah. first dungeon. So that's kind of where it originated. Then you also had a shout temple, <laughs> like you said. Yeah, I'm glad they took that dynamic though and expanded it into a full blown like they uh -huh. made it the theme of this dungeon entirely. I mean, hence the name. I think that's one reason why I loved it. It was just so different. Like I said, we just yeah. we never had anything like this before, and I thought how wind was used throughout this dungeon like was exceptionally well. I agree. And it's funny you mentioned that it's it's kind of similar to the Forsaken Woods from earlier in this game. Forbidden I, Woods. You're been, close. Uh, you're yeah, Forsaken, Forsaken Fortress <laughs> is what you're thinking of. Forbidden Woods. I you just like I, asked me before we started. I know. I know. Which I know. one it was. I feel like I probably made that mistake when we were commenting oh, I think you have, yeah. Yeah. too. A lot of people seem dungeon. to forget it's called Forbidden Woods. Yeah. But uh, but you mentioned that this was very similar to the Forbidden Woods like in the appearance. But I uh -huh. think they do enough with the color scheme and things like that. to It does set apart even though it's yeah. like a forest-ish yeah, dungeon. this kind of reminds me more of like uh, maybe like a swamp or maybe like a marsh. Yeah, I guess like a marsh should be good. Like not really a forest, more of like a marsh or something. Now, I don't know exactly how that goes with wind. <laughs> Like, you would think, I don't know, but me, I always associate wind with, like, some type of blue color. Yeah, I don't I know if we're getting too that. deep into, like, <laughs> Zelda stuff right now or not, but I don't know. That's just what I think, so. Well, it is funny. Like, you bring up, like, the swamp. Like, I, it almost has a look of an overgrown, like, ruin. Yes, like, definitely. Like, uh -huh. Instead of being in a forest. Isn't that what kind of like... marsh is? Kind of, yeah. Okay, not the store, like the, uh... No. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm talking about. I know what you mean, but, uh... But <laughs> yeah, this come in. I threw you off there a little bit on I that I don't think one. I'd buy my groceries from a place that looked like this. <laughs> oh, no. No, they might have some uh, good vegetation, some good vegetables yep, or there something. there you go. Now, I will say, uh, similar to the Earth Temple, you're going to have to play the Command Melody uh -huh. quite a bit through this dungeon. It gets a little old. It does. But, you know, it's... It gets a little real old when we mess it up later on a couple times. <laughs> but I was boycotting. Now, this first room right here, as you all see, um, first of all, I want to stay off. This was a Let's Play. Yes. It was also a blind Let's Play, as I feel like I had to say <laughs> in every single part we've done. I had never played this dungeon before, and we spend quite a bit of time in this first room. We spend quite a bit of time in a, in a few of the rooms, but, I mean, it's... There's some new mechanics, like with, with Maker like, and these yeah. spring things. Like, yeah, I've never seen this before, and yeah. like I just had absolutely no clue. And I think earlier I tried to use the hammer. Yep. I thought that was a good <laughs> idea. And I tried a bunch of different things, and just like we'll end up using the iron boots to spring yep. us off. Just never even thought about that. Well, it kind of ticks me off that the iron boots work. You think sl nailing it with a hammer would work, too. I mean, come on. Well, yeah, definitely. Like, well, the iron boots were just pretty much used to walk in water yeah. every time. And then Twilight Princess, they were used as, like, magnets. Yep, yep, the also, Goron Mines. Did we ever use them anywhere else with magnets in that game? Oh, we also used it in oh, the... Oh, uh, City the, Sky because of the wind. And also in Lake Bed, if I'm not mistaken. But. Uh, yeah, sure. Probably. Um, <laughs> different game entirely, But like though. I said, like, you know, new mechanics, they always get me. So it's just something that... 
But that's what's awesome about Zelda is it yeah. introduces these new me- new mechanics that you have to figure out. It does. It's like I mean, we're used to the iron boots, of course. We've used them before in many games, but. Uh-huh. This is I like the way they used it to you'll eventually see that we figured out yeah, it, t- uh-huh. it takes us a few minutes. But uh, there's a lot of cuts throughout this entire <laughs> vid- uh, video series. Well, what takes me off? I remember the first time I saw one of those little platforms you're standing on and I thought it looked like a screw or something like that. It does look like a and screw. And I'm like, are we getting a spinner? Yeah. I got so oh my excited. god, that'd be awesome. Oh, well, you know, was, if I would have had my tool set with me like playing this dungeon, <laughs> I probably would have done better. Oh man, all I mean, I that's was... close to like an outer wrench or something. So, you know, that's my problem. <laughs> I just had my tool belt on me. Yeah. I Actually, Link's got probably the best tool belt in the world He's because got a pretty good collection. he carry a bow in it, a hook <laughs> shot, a iron hammer. boots. He does have a hammer. <laughs> a huge, a huge hammer. Oh. And that hammer is by far the best hammer in any Zelda game. It is, it is. Now, you're kind of going to see here that we ignore these two spots in the ground. Mm-hmm. Totally on accident, I promise. But well, <laughs> well, he's supposed to give you a hint. He's not giving our hint fast enough. So. Yeah. because Actually, I don't think he gives that hint until the next room. I think it's the next room, yeah. Now, is it like... It's got to be like that room. It's not kind of like on time thing, do you think, is it? I think it's in the next room. In the like next when room you, automatically. You walk up okay. to one of the, a door that won't open. Okay. But Maker has the ability to uh, plant trees. Uh huh. Which seeds. is plant seeds. seeds, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. which grow into trees, of course, which is kind of something that sets up. Thank them apart. God we don't have to water them. Yeah. In every other Zelda <laughs> game, we have had to water them. Oh, it's such a hassle. You lose a bottle and that. Uh, such a hassle? <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> What's worse than, uh, what was it, Majora's Mask? Because you had to go, like, there's, like, limited springs that you yeah. can get to. And so, well, topic. But anyways, <laughs> another game. Anyway, he makes trees. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and they're really... I'd love how that was used because, like we said, we'll begin a hook shot later on. Just yep. Like, that's one thing I really loved about this dungeon was just how they, like, kind of use those trees so well with they the hook do. shot. Like, you know, on, like, different ledges and going back and forth and stuff like that. It just took us forever to remember that you could, uh... That you could even use, the, that you could plant the trees. We yeah, well, if you think that. about it, a hook shot to a tree really makes no sense, but yeah. a hook shot to whatever else really makes no <laughs> sense whatsoever. But, you know, kind of going along with talking about the uh, weapon that we get in this dungeon, mm-hmm. one of the other reasons that I really like this dungeon is because we get to use the leaf and the hook shot. So yes. it's almost like you use two uh, weapons throughout this entire dungeon. We're going to use that leaf uh, quite a bit. Oh, uh-huh, we do. Parts. Uh-huh. The, it really brings the wind. Uh, yeah, uh, concept element. like yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, if you think about like a hook shot in a wind temple, it really doesn't make that much sense. And like, I don't really understand like why the leaf is not an item in this dungeon. I know that would make a like, lot more sense. Like, because we get it just outside. We don't even get it in a dungeon. No, we get, actually, no, we get. Oh yeah, you got right. Uh, we get the, tree gets We get it right before the Forbidden Woods, but just like yeah. I think the leaf would have been a great item in this dungeon, right? It would have made sense with the wind and the forest uh-huh, and everything else definitely. that's going on. But so some, somehow on Hookshot does, so <laughs> I don't know. But just as that first room took us a lot of time, this room right here is also going to take a very long time. It does. We uh, we kind of fumble around a little bit. Yeah, there's there's more to fumble around. <laughs> That's the thing that stinks about it, man. Like you can just see me like a lot. Like a lot of our videos, like we kind of know what we're doing. Yeah. Here, there, there's just a lot of time of me just looking around. Like, <laughs> what in the world am I supposed to do? You get to see us with all our flaws in these letters. <laughs> yeah, that's the way I look. That's to definitely look at. true. That's definitely true. <laughs> My God, we're like eight minutes in. He's only in the second room so far. I know. Yeah, that last room <laughs> took us a minute or two. Well, like, this room just took forever because, like, the hint. Like, I don't know if you have to get close to those trees or not, but yeah. I feel like. Like earlier, like I got close to trees and he didn't say anything to me. So, and that's the only way, that's the only way to open this door. And so, yeah. I'm obviously sitting here playing with all these switches, <laughs> trying to figure it out. So, this is actually kind of funny. I'm pretty sure you raise and lower this door about five times. Right? Well, you know, I figured third time's a charm, and then like I figure, well, you know, maybe it takes five tries. Yeah, because what in Zelda has taken five tries? That's nothing. <laughs> well, the only thing to think of is if you're like maybe trying to find a way to like to have both switches down or just one down. And it just wasn't working. I'm not trying to make up for like my pretty much stupidity. I'm but trying to look out. I'm for sure you. I'm not the only one that did this though, right here. Like, what in the world? It is funny just watching you run back and forth from switch to switch. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, I was kind of thinking, like, okay, Maker has to have something to do with this. Yeah. Like, you got to put him on a certain one, or Link's got to be on a certain one. Yeah. You know, kind of like, well, not the Stone Tower Temple, like, it's just whichever <laughs> form you wanted, but I don't know, but like, you know, we just, a new mechanic. We had never planted, well, we had planted not, seeds, not but not, but not like this, like, and not you know, in a dungeon. I don't think. Uh, I don't know about that or not. I really can't remember, but like, just yeah. like, never, we never planted seeds to open a door, and I was just lost. I know, and it doesn't make any sense to me. We've mentioned that it takes him forever to give us this hint. 
there were these spots on the floor in the previous mm-hmm. room too, and he doesn't say a darn thing about. He saw it, a little so. transition right there. Like I had walked up there earlier <laughs> and back and back and forth, and just yeah. never got this hint. So, you know, the reason I'm struggling so much in this dungeon is because of Maker. <laughs> it's not my fault. Like Maker's not guiding me, man. No, we're never fans of uh, Wind Gods Araya or whatever it's called. That's what the song's called. Yeah, I didn't know. We weren't we were sure earlier, so <laughs> I would well. never remember that. No, well, I remember the Earth Gods lyric medley song because yeah. that song is just awesome. It is. It is. But yeah, Wind Gods Araya. Ar- 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 I have no clue. It wouldn't be the first word that we screwed up and no. said. Now here, right I here, say, you know what else you don't have a clue on is how to take no, 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 no. I'm. Bo- <laughs> I'm boy. I was so sick of it at this time that I boycotted the song right here. So okay. I played the fake one twice just to kind of, you know, just to boycott. Just a boycott and say, hey, you know, <laughs> I'm not happy with this situation right here. No. Now, here's what's frustrating, too. Even after you've gotten the well, I just played the wrong song twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's what's frustrating. Like, I was about to, It's like you, you get the hit to play, uh-huh. or that you can plant the seeds. But because Link was standing there, you didn't get the cue to even hit the yeah, button to drop yeah. the seat. I'm like, actually shocked that I kind of went to the other um, yeah. soil spot right there and actually did that one too. Because like I mean, I was, like because you can see like it never came up. I was like, what in the world? Yeah. What's going on here? So, but eventually I figured it out. <laughs> Thank goodness. I was yeah, tired really. Of this room. Yeah. <laughs> the first two. This whole first part has been the first two rooms, and man, like I said, they confused me. Like I struggled in this dungeon. Yeah. Makes me know that was a good dungeon because usually when we struggle in dungeons, we end up hating them. Definitely. This is one of those dungeons that that didn't happen to me. Despite the fact that it is a, a pretty confusing dungeon and, and... Well, we get to that main hub later on Whoa. and like you don't have the hook <laughs> shot. I'm here just being lost as heck on that part. <laughs> but uh, this will go ahead and wrap up part one of the Wind Temple.